So apparently we got the end of Jojo Siwa and we are about to find out what's really going on. All right. So I hope you guys enjoy. As always, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let's get it. So I'm sure some people watching this video will be aware of who Jojo Siwa is. She has been bit. around for quite some time now with her career just recently getting to that decade milestone. I've never known much about her besides the fact that she went viral for dancing like a maniac. She became rich from selling hair bows to kids. And I do remember she Being used to act absolutely insane in her videos. Hey everyone, it's Jojo. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, today I am at the what the hell did she just say? I. And kids used to love JoJo back in the day. She was dominating YouTube with massive collabs and huge numbers. And one thing I didn't know about her was that she was pretty much bred to be a star, like some sort of human racehorse. Action. Music is my. I wonder if she has a story to tell. Cause you know, after since the whole Nickelodeon and the whole DD and the whole like exposing like recently the whole cancel culture shit. I wonder if Georgia Siwa has like a story that she wanna tell. Like I wonder because she been obviously she's been doing this from since a really young age. So I wonder if she has like, you know. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. But I'm just saying. All kinds of music. This was made even more apparent when she would appear on the TV show Dance Moms. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that I'm here right now. I am super excited. Jess and JoJo come in with a couple big bows on your kid's head. Bro, I hate a shows. I hate shows like this, bro. It pisses me off because it's just like you're raising them to be a certain way and then you wonder why our generation is like a fail with OnlyFans and this and that. Like because of this, bro, you starting off them like look what she's wearing at this age, bro. Wearing makeup and all that shit. Like you cannot like, bro, hell no. I can't put up with this shit, bro. And you think you know what's going on. To me, anyone with a parent like, who wants them the to hell? be famous is already somewhat in danger. Because even if they achieve it, that Facts. is usually not a recipe for a well-adjusted adult later in life. Even look at someone like Tiger Woods who was a child prodigy whose father was very hard on him when it came to the sport of golf. And even though he was immensely successful and was looking to be the greatest golfer of all time, that immaturity and arrested development from not getting a true childhood would later on completely mess up his life. And for Jojo, obviously she would eventually go viral with children and she would even sign a deal with Nickelodeon to appear oh, on some of no. their shows. Oh. You're being so weird. She was signed with Nickel. Oh, or not. See? God damn it, man. What? I am? Are you like going through puberty? What? Ew! No! This is a very similar story that Ew, we've seen no. with a lot of child actors and other people in the entertainment industry. She was everywhere back then dominating the kids' market. She had been. Not gonna lie. Entertainment industry. She was ever. Hear me out. Listen, right? <laughs> Her without all like the whole colorful rainbow, all that extra shit. Like, hear me out. Like, God. This is the first time I'm seeing her dominating like the kids market. She had various okay. products and she was raking in millions of dollars on her dance tours. At this point, she also had a ton of songs with tens of millions of views that no one over the age of six has ever heard. But nonetheless, she was very successful. This would continue on for years and eventually she would lean more into singing with her group and she was even a judge on the show So You Think You Can Dance. <laughs> so on the outside, I'm sure she felt very successful, but I could also see how she could be one of those people who would have a hard time with their identity growing up because she was stuck in the persona like, of a yeah. child as her job for such a long time. Above this, she was constantly surrounded by influencer adults and not great role models. Two of her best friends were creepy Shane Dawson, who looks like he smells like Subway. Not the cat guy, oh my god, bro. And of course, that <laughs> weird clown caricature of a woman who was sending her kid fans her panties. 
She would also spend quite a bit of time with James Charles, so she was pretty much out here assembling the Avengers of creepy adults as people to look up to. Either way, JoJo has slowly been trying to change her identity from kid-friendly internet star to s icon, I guess? Because based on her new music video, that definitely looks to be the case. And I have to tell you guys just right off the bat, what you are about to witness is an absolute masterclass in how not to rebrand your career from child star oh, to boy. adult. It's not I mean, bad. this is what JoJo herself <laughs> had to say about this attempt to rebrand her entire life. No one has made this dramatic of a change yet. No one has made, in my generation, this extreme of a switch. And I am the first in the generation. It is very scary, but someone's got to do it. So JoJo is talking as... No one has ever made of an extreme of a switch. We literally have transgender. You know what? I'm gonna just let it be. Though she's some sort of pioneer, she's saying that no one's ever made a change like me, and no one's ever done it so extreme. And this is actually the change that she's talking about, guys. Where she's gonna go from this girl who looks to be like in her mid-teens, but she is still out here portraying herself to be, and straight up dressing like she's seven years old. No cap, for the longest time, I thought Jojo Siwa had like a mental, like something was wrong. You know, like people that doesn't age mentally, but physically they do. I thought she had like one of those conditions, but she just doing it just because like, I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of weird. <laughs> and she's going to go from this to this, where to me, she looks like a knockoff Gene Simmons. I mean, don't get me wrong. I know she's trying to be like sexy with this outfit or maybe different no. but she's really just giving me the same energy as those weird kids who would wear a tail back in the day the to school, have it <laughs> hanging out the back of their pants like what the f are you doing i just really think that everything she's trying to do here is simply not working and so this change in rebrand is going to come with a new style of music and so along with that weird outfit she was wearing jojo siwa would then present her newest song karma Let's hear it. So just from the first couple of frames, you guys can kind of see what's going on right off the bat. She was a bad girl. She did some bad things. She's on her evil arc. All right, so the outfit and the scenery does not match. I don't know what she got going on. You're on a beach, I guess, in the middle of the night on a full moon wearing uh, a kiss outfit, I guess, cosplay outfit. I'm sure some of you noticed the various <laughs> women that JoJo was going to be hooking up with in this video. Basically, she's trying to make oh. herself look like, yes, I'm sexy. Women want to kiss me. I mean, does this look like a well-adjusted adult to you guys? Now, obviously, I cannot be playing the entire music video for y'all, but I will be showing you some little clips and frames. And I know it's like trying to be this thing, but to me, like her and this girl are really just given like... See, no, this is where things for me is kind of weird. Okay, so you know, like, Jojo Siwa, she has, like, an audience, right, that's really young. For her to make such a drastic change like that and go from being, like, I guess, kid-friendly to hooking up with the same, like, gender, like, kissing and doing this, your fans did not switch. Like, they're still kids. They're not just immediately turned to 18 or whatever the case. So just, like, you're showing your younger audience this type of stuff. Stuff is kind of like that's why you have to manage what your kids be watching, bro. Or like that movie Blades of Glory. Yeah, it's kind of okay, the it's final so weird, act bro. where they're doing the half lotus or whatever the fuck it's called. These outfits are either giving me that energy or they remind me a little bit of like a shark boy. I'm not saying it's a problem or anything. Well, at least keep it like behind closed door until like you know, like don't do it like right off the bat. Like the first thing you did is like your first music video is all that. Like come on in lava girl type thing so they're on this island they're kissing and then all of a sudden she's on a boat with some other chick like the music video itself hardly makes any f***ing sense the whole point Thank is just you. to show her <laughs> hooking up with different girls so they're all looking around jojo is the prize okay she can't keep her eyes or her hands seemingly on just one person they all want jojo okay they all want a taste she's over here putting people in a f***ing headlock okay she's holding that 
poor girl's cranium <laughs> just like a damn football. Like, she's going to run right through the A-gap. And I'm sure some of you guys have noticed this by now, but I'm not a lesbian. But I will say, there is nothing sexy about this to me. First of all, she has no lips. And it almost looks like Jay Leno's grandson <laughs> is going in for the kill. Hey, I oh better chill God. out, though, because the last guy to talk bad about Jojo Siwa... Nigga, you a bitch, Jojo Siwa, bitch. Well, he fell off pretty fast. And so the rest of this video is just kind of them dancing around. She wants her, she can't have her. The hell was that? Nah, man, nah. Okay, first off, when she's coming out of that water like that, she looks like fucking Pennywise the Clown right there. And these <laughs> couple of frames have to be the funniest attempt to try and be sexual I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Yo, her crawling up is just nasty, okay? It just makes me cringe. It all comes off as beyond forced. Like, no one wants to yeah. see this baby dinosaur stomping her feet around on the beach, okay? What island is this, by the way? Yeah, this is just a scene from the Blades of Glory. And so I'll spare you guys a little bit, okay? She kisses her, then she kisses her. The aggressive gyrating of their hips over and over is just weird. It's basically one of the worst things I've ever seen. To me, I think she was kind of <laughs> trying to have, like, her Miley Cyrus wrecking ball moment. You know, that whole era hey. where... Don't drag the queen into this, all right? Miley Cyrus is uh, no slander. We don't we don't tolerate Miley Cyrus slander around here, all right? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Miley was getting naked, kissing girls, cut her hair real short. You know, for Miley, that was Bro, like a major so... success to go from being that, like, very youthful, kid-centric Hannah Montana figure to being taken more seriously as an adult. We've seen Justin Bieber do the same thing, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> but JoJo, it ain't working. She's and it's going funny that something. she claims she's so different and she's so unique, but she goes perfectly with this video from the early 2000s. Green guest on my podcast? Oh my gosh. I mean, honestly, let's spice things up. One of my exes. Oh? Now, if that voice right there could not be the next Bart Simpson, I don't know who's <laughs> the right person for the job. You've already named your uh, children? Bully. Bully. <laughs> What's she really? dressed like? I actually have two tattoos dedicated to him. Um, this one's dedicated to my baby girl one day. Her name is uh, Freddie. Then this is dedicated to twin boys, Eddie and Teddy. Um, <laughs> Freddie, Eddie, and Teddie. What's she so rap? She's telling she's been smoking cigarettes since she was like seven years old. What the He's hell? sperm donor lined up. Um, he, Wait, where's the sperm? You already donor? got it lined up. Is the sperm donor a friend? I will tell. I'll tell. I'll tell you. I make great kids. I mean, you know, <laughs> um, I yes. is he here friend. today? Maybe. <laughs> I, um, I, uh, I don't. I mean, she is making me cringe on a whole nother level. And those tattoos she has were absolute trash. Those look like <laughs> those tattoos that someone would go and get on like Friday the Thirteenth for thirteen dollars. Dead in ass. anticipation for this music video, she would actually go out and get her car wrapped. Oh. Yeah, we definitely are making the wrong people famous here. Someone would later notice her very recognizable vehicle cutting them off in public. That ugly ass. That rap is so ugly. God <laughs> damn. It's gotta be just about the ugliest car I've ever seen. And she's still out here with creep number one and creep number two. I mean, obviously, after seeing all the stuff with the Quiet on the Set documentary. Damn, and bro, she going that outside. To I ain't gonna lie. People who are, you know, child stars. And he had no idea she was doing all this entertainment shit. Entertainment talent. You do have to wonder what's going on in the background of someone like this life. So we don't want to be too harsh. But Jesus Christ, this rebrand was not it. I want to know what you guys think about her Scary, down below. Be I know we got to have at least one former JoJo Siwa fan in the comments or like maybe your little sister liked her or some shit. Either way, y'all let me know what you think. As always, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video. Drop. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.